Have you guys seen my last two videos? Because if you haven't, you should go watch them now. Not the live stream, but the last two like regular videos because I'm gonna talk about them right now. So today's Thursday, it's about eight in the morning. I'm about to go to work and I'm gonna come home at like four o'clock and then stream at five, which I made a video about earlier in the week, which is great. And I said that I'd bought this capture card, which was also great. And I thought it was gonna make my live stream super dope because I could use this camera to live stream. And then last night I set it all up so that I could test it all out and Oh boy, was I wrong. The capture card that I bought was supposed to work with Mac, and the keyword there is supposed to. What they don't tell you is that the software for Mac is in beta, and the Windows uh, software actually works, and it only kind of works with Mac, and then you have to like, I don't know, do this weird hacky thing to get it to work with OBS, and then the audio was off by up to like five seconds, and nowhere on their website does it say that's what should happen. So yeah, I returned that. And luckily the power of living in 2018 and in the triangle where there's like been a lot of tech investment is that we have Amazon Prime Now and Prime Now means that I can get a better, different card that actually works works with Mac because I read someone who uses it for exactly what I want to use it for is review and it's coming by 10 a.m. this morning which is wild. I ordered it literally last night at like 11 and it's going to be here by 10 in the morning. Crazy. Anyways you guys are going to be seeing this in the future so if you made it out to the live stream or if you watched it on DVR let me know what do you think of the quality and hopefully I figure this whole thing out and I don't actually have to use the webcam tonight because if so then this whole part is going to be useless. And then if you watched my other video, you know that I talked about building projects on your own. And this is about to get really bright. Uh, can I fix it before? Boom, I didn't turn into a ghost for once when I walked into the bright room. So yeah, building projects on your own and coming up with your own ideas or building clones of other things. And there's a problem with that theory and a problem with that strategy that I'm going to go over right now and how to get over it. So you've decided that you want to build an app and take a little bit of break from like the typical coursework or Udemy classes or Treehouse or however it is you've decided that you want to learn, right? And that's great. That's awesome. There's a hump that you have to get over to really convince yourself to do that. And that hump involves a lot of things and not the least of which is the intimidation of looking at a big project and thinking you can't do it. So how is it that we get there? How is it that we tell ourselves that we're ready? How do we convince ourselves that we can actually do this and get over that hump? And I completely understand this feeling, right? I, when I was at the Iron Yard, every time we would get a project, I was convinced that there was no way that I was ever gonna be able to get it done. And even today, I get tasks on a weekly basis that I'm like, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to pull this off. And then you think about them and you work it out and then you pull them off because you can do it. It's just that initial thought in your brain when you're met with a problem that you've never solved before is, oh, I've never done this. I don't know if I can. But see, your brain's actually wrong most of the time when it comes to this. See, you're met with something new and scary and big and that's all your brain sees. And then you need to look at it a little bit deeper. See, it's not actually big and scary and new most of the time. It's actually a bunch of really small things all stitched together to make something new. And there might be some small things in there that you don't know and you haven't done, but the vast majority of the things that make up most apps are the same. And if you've built other apps, then you've built this app and they're mostly just interchangeable parts. Now, before anybody yells at me, that's not to say that nobody is doing like awesome, creative, new and innovative work in this field because people totally are. But what I'm saying is, is that if you think of this idea, you have this app idea and you think it is gargantuan, it might be gargantuan, but you've probably done part of what makes this app this app before and you can break down this huge big app into teeny tiny little chunks that are way more manageable than when you see the entire thing and you try to think about building that. Our brains just work better that way. You know, you break off small tasks, you prioritize them based upon the need and these small tasks are things that you may or may not have done already, but if you haven't, at least they're a small task that you have to figure out and not a huge one. And if you have, then perfect. You just change it to make it work for the thing that you're building now. So this technique does have a name and I hate its name. I just hate the word. It sounds gross, much like people don't like words like moist or I don't know, 
pompa mousse. The name for this technique is called chunking. It just doesn't sound right. But anyways, chunking, oh God. Chunking. <clears throat> pull through, Aaron, pull through. Chunking is the concept of taking big things and chunking them down into smaller things and that way your brain can handle them easier. It works in software, it works in most tasks. If you have to clean your entire household and you have a 50,000 square foot house, first off, can I borrow some money? But second off, you know that like, you aren't going to do it if you think I have to clean everything. And you think about it as 50,000 square feet. But if you think about, I'm gonna do the dishes and then I'm gonna dust and then I'm gonna clean the bathroom and then I'm gonna clean the other bathroom and then the other bathroom, and the, maybe 50,000 square feet's a bad idea. But like, you just break things down and it's easier to convince your brain to do a small task than it is to do a big task. Convince your brain that you're gonna go on a 10 minute run and then once you're out there and you realize how good that run feels, Maybe you make it a 20 minute run. Anyways, I'll try to find some more information on the psychology of chunking and leave it down in the description below. I remember reading an article about it about a year and a half ago. I'm gonna try to find it. And yeah, I'll leave it down in the description. All right guys, that's all I have for today. I have to go run to work. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope I see you on the live stream later tonight, although this is coming out in the future. So it'll be yesterday, I guess. But if you haven't checked it out, you can check it out. I'll leave a link somewhere. If you haven't already, hit that like button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. If you want to follow along in my journey down this wild world of coding, the subscribe button is down there. Hit the bell to be notified of my weekly live streams as well. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, leave them in the comments down below. I try to respond to everything that I can, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.